your friendly neighborhood Levgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the Ark Survival Evolved Pooping Evolved server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. I was just getting on, doing some stuff and things, just getting some like different supplies built up, and I was like, you know what? The peeps probably want to do this. They want to probably see what's going on. Not necessarily super behind the scenes, like grindy, crafty stuff, but just a little bit of kind of what I was planning. And I had gotten to a stage where I'd crafted enough stuff. I wanted to hang out with you and show you guys what's going on. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support on all the ARC stuff and things. The last couple videos especially, we're getting around 10,000 likes on each video. I really appreciate it, you guys. It really, really helps me out. Thank you so much for doing that. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily ARC stuff and things. Today, I have been crafting up a bunch of these tranquilizer darts. I have a plan. So you guys know kind of my setup. And one of the things that's important, you know, for any person who plays video games, one of the things that we all do, well, not all video games, but some video games that have a hot bar. We all have our hot bar, and everybody's got the way they like their hot bar set. That's a thing everyone can identify with. Now, some people are sloppy hot barists, and they don't really have a set way, but there's those are few and far between, peeps. I'm an organized hot barist, okay? Uh, hashtag hot barist. And um, I like my stuff to be set up in a certain way. As you can see, one is pick, two is axe, three is pike, four is crossbow. This has always been for tranks. Five is food, six is spyglass, seven is the long rifle, always been set for um, like damage, always had it loaded up with bullets. And then nine and ten, I've always got my water jars. Eventually, we will we'll get a canteen, and that'll just go on the zero slot. And I said nine and ten, but I meant nine and zero. So my idea is, though, now that we've got the Trank Darts, okay, which we did in the last video, we did the testing, which is really cool. We know that these guys are really the preferred method for tranking anything. Now, they're they're going to do less damage and more torpor, um, but they are uh, expensive. So, whatever, we're rich. So, we're, we're going to act like we're rich for now. So, what I was thinking is we might change our hot bar today. So, the first thing that we got to do is make another Apprentice Long Rifle. I basically want to carry two of these now. I could carry just one and switch it up every time. Um, I want to do something. Like, if I wanted to do bullets, I could go like this and go like that and then have it switched up. But I figured, why not? Since we're rich, let's just do two. Since we're rich in metal, basically, is what I mean. Um, we'll just do two things, uh, two long rifles. And the difference really is about five weight. That's really only the big difference here. So, um, um, I'm not sure exactly about durability. Max durability 123, max durability 245. The, the, it may be we run into a durability issue. Um, we'll have to find out about that. But... This guy weighs 15. This guy weighs 10. Um, the <gasps> Tranks weigh... Oh, what's the matter, buddy? Sorry, let me drink some dr delicious drink. So um, the weight is about the same. 50 bullets weighs 5. So that's... We've always been carrying those around. Um, 50 uh, Trank arrows weighs 10. And 50 Trank darts weighs 10. So there's no difference in weight there. So just kind of trying to break down the stuff and things and see what's going on. So yeah, I was over here making um, all sorts of gunpowder. Making all sorts of more spark powder. Um, I made a bunch more narcotics so we can make some more of the Trank Darts. I figure we'll carry around 100 Trank Darts. Um, I need to make more gunpowder and do a bunch of behind the scenes again for more charcoal and stuff and things like that. Um, so we'll carry around about 100 Trank Darts and we will no longer be carrying the Trank Arrows and then we'll carry another gun. So what do we need for the gun? Well, I took a look and I'm going to take a wild guess and say we're going to need, I think it's 220 metal. You need a bunch of uh, hide and you need some wood as well. And the blueprint that we have for that is over at Poop City. So we're going to head over there to do that. Um, now, I also want to get a Rex saddle for Wi-Fi while we're over there. Our new T-Rex. What's going on? Who's this guy? Is that D-Mac on his new Quetzalcoatl? Let's see. 139. I heard that he got a really high level Quetzal. That's pretty crazy, man. Pretty cool. And um, also... There's been some talk about the Quetzal. You know what? We've got all the stuff and things we need, I think. We're just going to head over to Poop City. So um, there's been some talk about the Quetzal that it's really... Um, let me see here. Let me actually turn my bloom quality and light shafts to the correct number. Like so. Bam. That way the sun won't be blinding us. Um, and the Quetzal seems to be... I don't know. A little overpowered. It is almost basically like a super powerful Argentavis. Uh, D Max taken his up to the Northern Island and has been leveling it up. And I was talking to him last night in, in a team speak, and he was saying that it's super powerful, like really, really high attack. Um, and and in the dossier, it says they're really not supposed to be that way. 
Um, so I'm a little bit concerned, and I'm thinking, yeah, some stuff and things are going to happen. Oh, crap. Before we head out, I forgot. We have to do a U-turn because we have one other thing to do um, at the base before we do this. I got to show you one other thing. But yeah, so DMAC was saying that the Quetzal is super powerful, um, which really surprises me because if it's a powerful attacker, it really makes it super powerful. Like, why would you... You could put a mobile base on it, um, I guess, as long as you didn't attack, like... I don't know. Your mobile base could be at risk if you were starting to attack a lot of different stuff, like of getting destroyed. Um, but th it just makes it like super powerful. There's so many things you can do with it. Um, and also, there's been some talk and there's been some ways that, that people have shown about how you can tame them solo now. Basically, setting um, a scorpion on to attack um, and then targeting it with like a spyglass and then carrying it with your RG and then the scorpion will attack it. Pretty cool stuff. There's a couple of videos out there about it. But yeah, I wanted to come back here because I wanted to tell you guys we have to update the total list, man. These, there's a bunch of things that are out of date here. So we got to fix this up. There we go. Much better. Now our total list reads, we need the Dodic for stone. Looking for something over 80 for that. We need another RG. I want to have it over 110. Uh, so 112, 116, or 120. Um, a Quetzal, we want to tame one for our very own because they're BA. We need base building supplies. We've already got some of those done. We're still working on the elevators, and of course, very important, though at the end of the list, still very important, put vanilla pudding in manage our eat in public. One of the things we've definitely got to, we, we're working on it. I've been talking to the Arc Dev team. Hopefully, we'll get the mayonnaise jar engram and the pudding engram. Just kidding. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to head over to Poop City, and we're going to make up a new long rifle, peeps. I will be our bees. And we're back at Poop City. It's a dark and dreary night, and it's raining inside. And, all right, so let's take a look here and see where all these blueprint stuff and things are. Do we got anything and anything? All right, so best blueprints is right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. So there's the apprentice long run. Crap, I didn't bring enough metal. Crap, 373 metal. I thought it would be, I thought it was like 220-something. And this is, yeah, smithy guy right here. I mean, I brought enough to make the rifle, but I wanted to make the wreck saddle, too. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to do both of those things. Um, all right, so we'll squirt this in here. We'll squirt this, this, and this. Inside of here as well. There we go, there we go, there we go. So now we need 78 wood. Let's see, is, is there any wood to be had over here? Let's take a look. Oh, crap -o. All right, so we got to grab some wood real quick. We can just squirt right over here outside and use the old tried and true axe method. A little bit concerned with changing up the hot bar. It's a that's a big deal for me. Like I'm very particular about my hot bar. So changing the hot bar, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be eating my rifle for a while. I'm gonna try because my food is on five. So I'm gonna be trying to eat my rifle. I know that that's gonna happen. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure they haven't added that in yet. I think, uh, yeah. Even if it was emergency, maybe you could eat the stock. Like really chew the wood. I don't know. I don't think it'd be that great. Anywho, all right. So over here, like a so, go ahead and chuck this wood in. Bam! Nailed it. Ace oh, wrong. Whoops. Nailed it. Ace it. Can't be stopped. There we go. We're crafting up this bad boy. All right. So officially, we are going to move this out. This is going to go right a here, like a so. That's going to be our track guy, and then this guy here with the scope. That's our bullet guy. So now we can go ahead and one of these, tracking it up. Yeah, get reloaded, yo. And then one of these. Oh, wait. He didn't grab... Get your bullets in there. Did we Did we miss the... Come on. Get on there, Scope. All right. There we go. So we're good to go with there. Let's say hi to Softus, one of the new guys on the server. So, all right. So we got a long rifle. We got to get it dyed up. We need a wreck saddle, too. Let's be a responsible member of the server and go ahead and put this back. We'll put this guy inside of Hyant like a so. Now, our saddles blueprints is over here. Let's take a look and see... Fiomia, Parasaur, Turtle, Trike, Trike, Fiomia, Carb, Parasaur, Mammoth, Ichthy, Mammoth, Carno, Sarco, Pteranodon, Megalodon, Raptor. Come on, we got a T-Rex saddle, don't we? Don't we, please? Parasaur, Parasaur, Ichthy, Fiomia, and uh, Crap, we don't have a T-Rex saddle blueprint. So it looks like it doesn't even matter that I didn't bring the supplies with me. I'm going to have to fly back to the base anyway and just learn the Ingram. So we could put a saddle on her. Uh, make up a little bit of dye. Get Wi-Fi dyed up the new color. Then we are going to 
get the the new gun died up. And yeah, after that, I don't know. We're gonna maybe take a look around for a Dodic and for a new RG as well. And I will be your beats, peeps. And we're back. Just did a little wood run on William Shatner, getting some stuff and things done. You know, we need to get a little bit of wood going. We just got to kind of, can I carry all this? Yeah, I'm super amazing. Uh, we got to get some more charcoal going. So I just went out to, on him to go ahead and grab some wood real quick so we can do that. Also, while I was out or doing stuff and things, or when I came back, actually, pardon me, I noticed something. And that something that I noticed was that I had a Rex Saddle Blueprint. Nail the it can't be stopped. So I have all the stuff and things right here that I need in order to get that going. All right, so we got that. I also made up a bunch of dye. You can see right here in the inventory. And um, I also dyed up our primitive metal sickle because we never really did. Um, I also ate my spyglass a few times and tried to eat my rifle. So that is something that absolutely is happening. But all right, so the next thing we got to do, these guys got to go to bed, man. Peace out, man. Peace out, crossbows. Wave of the future, man. All right, so we got all that going. We got that going. What else did I wanted to do real quick? Oh, yeah, you know what we got to do? We got to take a look at getting some rotten meat from some of these guys. I think I already grabbed a bunch off of everybody. There's got to be somebody that's got a huge amount. No, three? That's not even a mouse on a wheel. Come on, one of you guys has got to have, like, a big amount. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all we need is 100. So just drop that. And what we want to do is go ahead and just get some more narcotics going. If we're going to be making these trank arrows... We've got to have a lot of narcotics on hand at all times. One, two, three, four. All right, we're not going to be able to make a full 100, but whatevs. So just go ahead and stick this inside of here for right now. Like a so. And then consumables, the Drugas, 94, make it. Now the days that can't be stopped. All right, so now we've got... All right, let's go over here. Let's squirt over to Hardware, who has our smithy. And... I wonder if we've got enough metal in there or not. I'm not exactly sure. Let's take a look here. So we put the blueprint in here. It needs to be out of smithy, correct? Yeah. So then we're going to squirt 472 hide, 248 of that. And we still need some a little bit of metal. Did I happen to have any on hardware? Nope. Oh, and you got a level two. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead down here. Grab 200 of those guys. Go on to hardware. Give them some more weight. 1204. What? 43? 34? 1243, I think it was. All right, and now we'll squirt that on there. Makes this re re yeah. Let's do that. All right, so we're crafting it up, and we're just contemplating our next move. Pretty sure we're gonna put on the T Rex. I think that's a really good bet. Ooh, that was like 200 XPs too. Sweet. All right, so let's pop over here to our new guy Wi-Fi, who we haven't really played around with yet. And we need to get. Do we have dies on here or dies on here? Okay, we got our dies. So, let's go ahead and squirt the saddle on her. Like a so. We're going to pump melee damage. Like a so. There, you got your saddle, man. Super amazing. All right. So, let's go ahead and grab our paintbrush. And it's time to paint. Now, I'm thinking I have an idea. Slightly different color scheme. Let's do it, peeps. <laughs> And we're back, and there's been a turn of events. There's been a turn of events. This is a level 52 RG. That is not as very important. There is also, in the area, a 120th RG. I have seen. Mazion has been nice enough to go to check the farm to see if we have any Stego Kibble. I do not know if we do. All right, he says he's going to go and look right now. All right, he said he found a couple of eggs. Die, stupid thing! I'm kind of overexcited right now. Okay. All right. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It was right here. Oh, my God. It was right here. I 
think I saw another RG up. Is that it? Is that it right there? Is that you? Are you him? Are you him? All right. This is him. You are him. All right. Let's come down over to here. We got to try out our new Trank gun, which I have colored different colors. It is now white. Here we go. Uh, whistle passive. Drink water. Pew, pew. Trying to headshot it. Oh my god, I want to headshot it so bad. No, 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 no. Are you coming to me? Pew, pew, pew. I pew, pew, you. I love this thing. Pew, pew. No, no, hurt me. Too much, please. Pew. <laughs> this is annoying. This is too much. Oh, pew. <laughs> pew. All right, you know what we're going to do? Actually... Get on here. Come on, man. We're going to drag him. We're going to drag him back to base. Come on. Let's come back to base, buddy. You and me. We're going to do this together. And I'm going to just... I'm going to down you right inside my base. So it's going to be super amazingly easy to tame you. And you're going to be mine. You're going to be the new guy. And I already have a name picked out for you and everything. And it's going to be amazing. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. All right. We just got to make sure we whistle past of everything in the base. We don't want Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to come over and just annihilate. All right, let's make sure. Are you coming, homie? Come on, bring it on. All right, where did he go? Where did he go? All right, here he is. Here he is. Pew pew. Bring it on! Where are you going? What? Why? Why? Pew. Pew. Don't die, stupid pigeon. Pew. Pew. I don't think there's any way I can really headshot him every time. Uh, we'll try one more headshot here. Pew pew. Come on, man. You've got to be hurt. This stuff, like, these darts are, like, the most amazing thing ever. Pew, pew. Yes, we've got him down. Nailed it. It can't be stopped. Wow, we did a lot of damage to him with these darts, even though... You know what I mean? Even though they do less damage and more torpor? Torpor? Whatever it's called. I'm super excited. I can't believe it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, crap. That was so close. Oh, I wanted to do like this. I'm so excited, guys. We're going to get this guy tamed up. And I will BRBs, peeps. Woohoo! And we're back, and there's been a bit of a mad scramble by the community to help out. I really want to say thank you to Softus and Mazion. Those guys, Maz uh, brought over some kibble, made up some uh, stego kibble, and uh, Softus brought over a kibble egg. I went ahead and he he needed to get a um, Quetzal saddle crafted up and didn't have the engram, so I made that for him. And now I do believe, yeah, this should be good to go, right? Yeah, for one more kibble. So... Dow will get a perfect team, but we will get a good team. Uh, make kibble for me, please. Don't tell me. Wait, I'm looking at the thing right now. Citronel, primey jerky, medjo berries, fiber, and water skins. Bam! Now the next can't be stopped. All right, we got five of those. So we can just go ahead and put that fire out and come over here on now. And I doubt he's going to eat all five of these. So let's go ahead and just drop them on here and see what goes on. So we'll drop that right there like so. Bam. Two, three. All right, he ate. Oh, wait, crap. Holy crap. We got to go get some prime meat right now. He's already at half, though. Holy crap, guys. That's amazing. Um, 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 um. Where's the stupid pigeon? Stupid big pigeon. All right, man. We got to go get some prime meat and get him tamed up. I will be our bees, peeps. This is so exciting. And we're back. And we got him, guys. Oh, hold on. We're just going to escape out of that. And what did he end up? 179. It ended up being a perfect tame. Even though we didn't tame it all with kibble, his taming percentage never went down from plus 59 levels, which is what he uh, initially uh, uh, passed out at or whatever. Look how cool he is, man! 179! <laughs> I can't believe it! Let's look at his stats. Eight <laughs> 1,800 health, 2,479 stamina, oxygen food, whatever, whatever. 600-ish weight and 363 melee damage already. He's killing it. You guys are so cool, man! All right, a while gap back. You know, in the first season, we had foul uh, mouth. And then in the second season, we had gameplay. 
And somebody in the comment section a few videos ago suggested this name, and I think we've got to do it. Foul play. It's like the, the, the like a word salad with the two previous guys. Game played, foul play, this, that. We need an RG saddle, and then we got to paint this guy, man. This is so exciting. And we're back. And we have... I already knew the engram for the RG saddle, so I figured we'd just make one up. And... Nailed that ace that can't be stopped. All right, we got our saddle. Now, let's go over to Wi-Fi. Look how cool Wi-Fi looks. You know what? Actually, I don't think... I think I got super distracted by the fact that... Yeah, I did. That we got the tame, and I forgot to show you the paint job on Wi-Fi. So I decided to go for, like... You know what I mean? The duality of man sort of thing. So Wi-Fi, we ended up painting white with the blue emblems on him, uh, her. And she has a little bit of eye makeup on. And we got our saddles kind of the opposite of the other saddles. So I think it looks really cool. Check it out. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, look at this, man. Oh, yeah, these are going to be a formidable team for sure. We've got to grab our dies off of here. All right, there we go. And now we got to go ahead and we have to paint foul play. Let's do it. And we're back. And foul play is a thing! And look at his paint job! And I decided to take a little extra time on it because I thought it would look better. So we did like a two-tone blue and white. I know that there's some, you know, pixelated parts of it, but that's just the way it works when you're doing these paintings by, by hand manually. Oh, he's got a problem on his neck. All right, we'll have to fix that real quick. So let's go ahead and pop down here and do that. Oh my god, guys. I'm really excited about this. Like, this is really, really cool. Uh, give me back my stuff and things. Can I see? Can I see? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? All right, where is the... Where is the no, squirt him. Where was this bad spot? Where is this little bald spot? There it is. Right there. Right there. Nailed it! Ace did can't be stopped! We have got a perfect... And he's already got a level. 180th level RG named Foul Play. Oh, uh, he's so amazing! Um, and a lot of you guys also sometimes ask for me to put like slippy symbols. Oh man, his butt's all frigged up. We gotta put slippy symbols on the birds. It's really hard, guys. The slip symbols on the birds just, just, just they just do not look good at all. So, um, yeah, it's really tough to do those, to be honest with you. But all right, where was this butt problem? Right there. Why is your butt a problem right here, man? Get painted, butt. Uh, do you like butt paint? You know, sometimes there's like little shaded bits like this that are like really hard to figure out how to get off. See, you like paint all around it. Should be pretty good to go. So any who's all right, we got our guy. He's super cool. I like the new color scheme too. And I think it's cool kind of that we started adding in, you know what I mean? Some different colors. I know that some people were not down with the blue, which personally I love it. I think it's freaking awesome and cool and unique um, and very special. Oh, hello, hey, give it to me. Oh, hello, did you get a level? Yeah, take it, accept your melee damage. Um, so, but yeah, we can do a little bit more two-tone stuff, which I think is really rad. So, um, I'm a little bit off kilter now because we've got this bird. I'm just kind of trying to think about what the next, what the next step is for us today. Um, uh, I think I'm going to fly around on him and have some fun and then I'll be our bees peeps. And we're back at the Northern Island on foul play and 1000 melee damage already will level 197. Just came up here and started doing a couple of passes. And he tamed out at such a high level already. Oh, yeah, you guys want some? You want some foul play? He's just been doing great. So far, so good. I mean, he's not the same as gameplay yet, but, you know, we haven't got the levels on him. And when we do, he's going to be amazing. It's going to be so awesome. And I'm really excited to see, like, how high we can get him. Um, yeah, so let's take these guys out real quick. Check this out. Man, we got the 1,000% melee damage again. So now I think we're going to start pumping a little bit of speed. We probably want to put his health up a little bit. 
because his health is pretty low right now. Uh, let me take a look here. He's at, only at um, 1,800. I probably want to get his health to about 3,000. And stamina 2,400. Um, it's it's kind of weird. It feels like his stamina is a little bit low to me, but I don't know. I can't remember what the stats were on gameplay. Um, so maybe that will pump that a little bit. But yeah, so we're killing it. We got our new RG. We got our new gun. We did.